Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today I've got my crock pot out. I'm super excited to show you how to make crock pot white barbecue sauced chicken sandwich. Now you don't always have to put this in a sandwich. You can put it on anything you want. Okay. So to get started, look at this sandwich. I'm going to show you right here here and we're going to drizzle on some extra sauce at the end it's going to be so delicious first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook our chicken first and give it some really delicious flavors and then we're going to work on that delicious white sauce pull it all together and serve it on a brioche bun all right y'all ready for this one i know i am let's go ahead and get started first thing let's cook our chicken to the bottom of a six quart crock pot, I have sprayed with some cooking spray. I've added four skinless, boneless chicken breasts and just lay them flat in there. I'm taking a small onion or you can take half of an onion of a large onion. I'm just gonna peel off the outer layer and cut it in half. And I'm just gonna dice it. All right, we're gonna pour this all over the chicken. To a small bowl, we're going to place two tablespoons of butter. We're going to melt this. We're going to add two tablespoons of cooking oil. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of paprika. Half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to blend this all together. Let's drizzle this all over the chicken. We're going to pour a quarter cup of chicken broth. We're going to cover our crock pot. We're going to cook this on high for about three to four hours or on low for about five to six hours. You want the chicken to be nice and tender, cooked through, and really shreddable with forks. While the chicken is cooking, we're going to go ahead and put together our white barbecue sauce so that we can refrigerate it and keep it nice and cold. Now to a medium bowl, we're going to add one cup of mayonnaise whatever brand you want to use, quarter cup of milk, four tablespoons of some apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of mustard. Now I'm just using a Dijon mustard here. You can use a stone ground mustard or just regular mustard if that's what you have. One teaspoon of paprika and we're going to give this a little heat so we got some cayenne pepper here or you could even add a little few shakes of some hot sauce so for this i'm going to add half a teaspoon okay we're going to take our whisk we're going to blend this all together Now at this point you want to give it a taste and make sure that your seasonings are where you want them, your flavors are where you want them, and if you want to add anything extra then you can do that at this time. Now there's, it's also known that you can put Worcestershire in here, so if you want to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire up to a tablespoon if you like that flavor. Mmm, that is so delicious. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna set this in the refrigerator until my chicken is ready in the crock pot.
Okay, so it took four hours on high to get my chicken nice and tender. It's just falling apart. Okay, I'm going to pull my cooked chicken out of the crock pot. Just place it into a bowl. It smells really delicious. It is so tender, it's just falling apart just the way we want it. Now, I don't want to put all this juice into my chicken, but I do want to get all that onions and that goodness right there. Kind of put that into the chicken. And then what we're going to do is take a quarter cup, and I'm just going to fill it. Keep our chicken nice and moist by adding that. Now you can take two forks or a fork. I'm going to take my meat chopper here and I'm just going to start breaking apart the chicken. You don't just brown up ground beef with this little thing. Mm, it shreds your meat for you. Put some more gravy in there. It's how moist you want your chicken. That looks so good. All right, that is that delicious sauce. Look at that. Mmm, just the way we want it. We'll give that a stir up. I'm going to pour half of this over our chicken. And we'll go with that for right now. And we're just going to blend it together. Grab you a fork, give it a taste. Mmm. That tastes delicious. Let's build a sandwich. All right, I am using these delicious brioche buns. If you've never had these, oh my goodness. You need to try them. They are so buttery, delicious. They're sweet and soft with a light texture. Look at that. Okay, we'll take this delicious white barbecue sauce shredded chicken made in the crock pot. We're gonna put it right on our roll here. I'm going to drizzle some more of that white barbecue sauce over the chicken on the sandwich here. That's why we saved some. Sprinkle some green onion. Some cracked black pepper. There we go. What do y'all think? It's time for a bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, there's some tanginess to that sauce, like a barbecue. There's a little bit of heat in the back due to that cayenne. If you don't want that, you can certainly leave that out. That apple cider vinegar, oh, it just pulls it all together. What are y'all thinking? All right, thanks so much for coming. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. You can also find me on Facebook and my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. I will see you on the next episode.